D. Calculate the water level D. That means the height, not the pressure. Just so far, I was talking about a, a pressure a lot. We calculated the pressure, the pressure variations. But here, we need to calculate the distance, not pressure. We know this height is given 0.7, this depth L12, and um, this is some shaded zone. It says it's mercury. Uh, we know the, the material is mercury. It is kind of a U-shaped gate here, a container. So this is the water level. Is look, this is the water and this is air. So it's kind of a container half filled with water and the half it is empty. That means this is air. This section, this is open. So that means now um, what do we need? We need to use, we need to calculate this D and we need to use some some of our previous understanding so i will write it down what we know so if i draw a line like this so we know this is 0 0.7 meter so the height is 0 0.7 meter the length the depth l 12 meter so this is equal to 12. this is 12 meter we need to calculate D. So that's what we are looking for. We have two, in fact, three materials here. So the first thing is we have the water and we have the mercury. So the water, water density, in general, we know 1000 kg meter cube. And the density of the mercury with the scientific notation is HG. So this is mercury. I think it's 13,600. 13,600 kg meter cube. This is all information we know. We know another information, guys. This is, um, we need, we'll define it like this. Let's say this point, this is this point, we'll say this is point B, okay? This point, we'll put some notations, let's say. A. This point here, let's say we'll say it is F. This point at the bottom will say this is E. And this point will say this is D. So we just put some name. This is A, B, F, E, D. Okay. So this is um well, what do you say? Now, if I ask pressure at point B, what it is? Who can um, help me with this? You look at the- uh, The yeah. atmospheric pressure. Atmos yeah, atmospheric pressure said. So um, this is the atmospheric pressure. So we can say one ATM, or we can say it is zero gas pressure. So that I already mentioned. You can ask me um, what we should use. So there will be some problem where we'll try to make it simple by using some assumptions. So in engineering problem, so you know, in, in your professional life, maybe you do not need to solve this question. Many things you are doing, a lot of subjects, let's say 160 credits, a lot of theories, everything, but maybe this is not applicable in real life. The real life applications are different that we'll do in projects. But to do some real life thing, we need some understanding of this content. And most of the time, when it is a engineering problem, we need to use some assumptions. Even when we're solving a problem, a technical problem, we cannot consider all real aspects. So we will somehow simplify this and try to solve and give the solutions. And that's 
why you are engineer. And that's, oh yeah, I will always say like engineers are innovative people. So we'll make complex problem easier. So here, we know the pressure, it is atmospheric pressure, but we also know that it is atmospheric pressure and the zero gas pressure, which is same from the relations. So you can say it is atmospheric pressure or you can say zero gas pressure. I'll put it like this for now. We need this D. If I um, now tell you another thing, this point D, that means uh, this air water interface. You look here, this is a connections between here to here. Can I also say it is also here, yeah, this, this empty space, this is also air. So it is also the point A and point D at this two point. What is the interface? It is just the, the fluid and the air. So can I say here the pressure A and pressure D are equal? Here I said equal, think clearly. Is it equal? What do you think? Uh, not really. That's what yes. I think it's, it's not. It's not. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's not, it's, it's just very close. The difference is negligible. They are different height, but still it's very close to equal pressure. You know why? Because the material is air. We know the air density is rho g Hayes. I showed you an example during my lecture that you have a room like this, okay? So, the pressure here, let's say it is one atm, and here it is 1.005. And this is maybe 15 meter the height from here to here. The distance, this there is a difference of the height, 15 meter from the rope to the floor. But the pressure here is one atm, here is 1.005. So we know that pressure varies with the height, but it is it is quite you know, significant height, but the pressure is very low. You know why? Because it is, we know the pressure is rho g Hayes. So this material is air and air density is 1.2 to very small density. If it is water, it's 1000. Look, when you will calculate this for air, rho g Hayes means 1.2 to 9.8. And it is 15. For water, it is 1009.8 and 15. So this will be significant. If it is a fluid kind of water while mercury, then this pressure is not negligible. But when it is water, it's very close. So that's we can see from this room. So here we have some height, some elevation, some height variations. But as the material is air, so we can say that pressure A and pressure D, they are equivalent, very close. And the difference is negligible due to low air density. Does that make sense, guys? I'm not telling this is equal, but for simplicity, we can use they are equal. Does that make sense? Yeah. So pressure P and D, it's not equal, but, but we can say, as the difference is negligible due to the low air density, we can say they are close to equal. And pressure PF, what should be the pressure PF? The same, we can say pressure PF or PB, it's kind of, uh, zero gas pressure or atmospheric pressure, right? Because this is also, you know, just the free surface. So we, like point B and point F, this is similar. And point D and point A, this is similar. So we have got this. Now, if you want to calculate the pressure here, at this point, pressure here, can I write, look, 
um, if I want to calculate this pressure, we know this is um, kind of, you know, uh, the pressure here, we said it is negligible pressure, but still, what is the value? Can I write it like this? Pressure PA, this is equal, uh, you know, the PB plus rho GIS, PB plus, you know, the density of the mercury into gravity into the ice. Look at this. So what I was talking about so far, all the theories. Now I'm, I have started solving the problem. Pressure PA, that means if we draw a line like this. So this is A. So it is PBN, rho G has. Rho, it is the mercury. So I said the density of the mercury, gravity on the other. Okay. If you, if you assume that the PB is the gas pressure, kind of, let's say it's zero gas pressure so we can say this pressure pa this is equal density of the mercury into gravity into the height so this is easy like we got pressure at point a now we are looking for the pre this distance so that means if we calculate the pressure here or here so we'll get the value of d what I'm going to write is just think for this point, we have this height and this height. So it doesn't matter what's the height. Pressure at this point, we can say, okay, it will be just kind of equal. What I, what I will write, pressure at this point, let me just write here. So this is point E, okay? This is point D. And this is point F. If I write it like this, pressure at point E, pressure at point E, if I calculate from here, so what it will be? Pressure D plus density of the water, gravity, and D. See what I, what I wrote, guys, here? I'm calculating the pressure for this point. So for pressure for point E, this is equal this PD, that means this pressure and pressure due to this. I can also calculate it like this. Pressure at point E, if I calculate from here, from this F, it will be like, you see, pressure at F, PF plus density of the water into gravity, into L because this is the length L. See, this two ways you can calculate the pressure at point E. You know what I mean? So pressure at this point, if you calculate from this point, it is like this. If you calculate from this point, it is like this. And we don't we don't know PD. But PD will be different. But if we do some, uh, you know, the, the equilibrium kind of like this. So it's like this PD plus rho W G D. This is equal PF plus rho W G L. It's like this. PD. PD we don't know. But what we know, guys, that PA and PD are same. We said equivalent, so we'll say now equal. We know PA equal rho G has. We know like this. We know PA, this is equal density of the mercury, gravity, and has. It is from the previous base. We calculated. Can I say that, okay, PD, it is equivalent to PA equal this, that's the simplification and assumptions now we are going to use. Um, sir? Yep. I have a question. Like yep. with the PA, you know how you use the atmospheric pressure as well? PA? But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus the density of the mercury, right? Yeah, yeah. But how come you use the zero gauge pressure instead of the one atmosphere? Like what's the difference? 
Now the gas pressure, you, you know, I like. Is that um, what we're looking for? Yeah, here actually we are we are going to use the gas pressure, not the atmospheric okay. pressure. That's yeah. the assumption. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we will be using the gas pressure here, and then we'll make it is kind of zero, and that's the yeah, yeah. simplification. It makes it easier. Yeah. Okay. So. So here, um, we can say like this PD equal PA, and that's I'm going to replace it here. You see. It is the density rho of the mercury into gravity into the height plus this is the rho w g d and p f uh, we'll use this as the gas pressure yeah so equal to rho w and g l so from this this gravity we have in all you know left and right hand sides so this is going to be the density of the gravity height density of the water d density of the water and l so d it will be like this the density of the uh, water to l minus density of the mercury into haze over density of the water. So that means now we have got D. What is actually we are looking for. So what we'll do is we will substitute the values now. The density of the water, the L, density of the mercury, haze and rho W. So I'll do it now says I don't have enough space here. I'll move to next space, but maybe some of you are still writing. We, yeah, you just continue writing. So what I did here, we use the gas pressure, same for PF, so we cancel it out. We put zero and we substitute PD equal this, you know, that's the assumptions we said earlier, that PA, PD pressure is equivalent, very close. They are not equal. But this is our assumptions. The, as it is very negligible differences, so we, we use that one. I'll move to next page now. If you're still writing, I'll uh, come back again and you can write it down later. So the D, you know, we know the value, density of the water. It is uh, 1000 kg meter cube. And the, the, the length, it is 12 uh, meter minus the density of the mercury, 13,600. I'm not writing the units here, same, 0 0.7. And over, you know, the density of the water. So it is 1,000 kg meter cube. So if we solve it for D, it will be 2.48 meter. So this is the, um, uh, you know, the distance this distance from the, from the bottom. So um, we have got this, the, the distance is 2.48 meter. Uh, basically, this question is a little bit different, little difference like uh, we need to use some of our assumptions, but um, I can confirm uh, that the final exam questions, it will be, you know, not final exam, the most request question, it will be must easier than this one, or at least similar, not complex than this question. So uh, yeah, in this case, we simply use the gas pressure because we wanted to cancel out, even if we use the atmospheric pressure, so it will cancel out each other. This is the one thing. Second thing is um, we use the assumptions like this point D and this point A, these two pressures, P, D, and P, A, we say they are equivalent. So as if we calculate, we'll find it is very close to each other due to low air density. So we assume that one. And that's it. I think um, it is pretty straightforward and simple calculation. All of you are familiar with much more complicated calculations. So it's kind of, you know, so easy for you. Um, yeah, so the, this is the 
the first thing. And the second thing is here, we use the guest pressure. So that's it. Um, let me just stop.